Lucian, what is it that has taken root so deeply in your soul that it troubles you still? If you do not wish to answer, I will leave you be. However, I must remind you that you cannot accept your death until you have left your worldly troubles behind. What is it, Lucian? Have you decided to speak? Would you go with me to that village? I have no objection. I was born in this village. We always used to play here, the two of us. this house? My best friend. This was her house. I hated her parents. They were always so cruel to her. But Platina got upset when I spoke ill of them, so I tried to keep my mouth shut. Her name was Platina? Hmm? Yeah. We were so close, but... But? One day I found out that her parents were going to sell her. We escaped together. I was just a dumb kid back then. I couldn't think of any other way. I wouldn't let anything happen to her, no matter what. In the dark of night, we ran until our lungs were about to burst. Just like this. stumbled onto this place. Your helmet. Could you take it off? Like that girl? Yes. That girl Platina, she inhaled the weeping lily pollen and died. It was my fault if I hadn't brought her with me. And I resemble this girl. That's why... I know it's wrong to feel this way about a stranger just because she looks like someone else. But nothing has changed. I still love her.
You see a semblance of your first love when you look at me. But there's a chasm between men and gods that cannot be traversed. Thus, love between the two is not possible. However, Lucian, I hope you live so we can meet again. <laughs> 